Harry Price, one of the most controversial figures in the history of the paranormal research, is considered by some to not only be the father of all ghost hunters and forensic science. Price joined the Society for Psychical Research, SBR, in 1920, and because of his knowledge in conjuring, he debunked fraudulent mediums, but in direct contrast to other magicians. Price endorsed some mediums that he believed were genuine. Price's first major success in psychical research came in 1922 when he exposed the spirit photographer William Hope. In 1925, Price investigated Maria Silbert and caught her using her feet and toes to move objects in a seance room. Price formed an organization in 1926 called the National Laboratory of Psychical Research as a rival to the Society for Psychical Research. Price had a number of disputes with the SPR, most notably over the mediumship of Rudy Schneider. Price paid mediums to test them. The SPR criticized Price and disagreed about paying mediums for testing. Price made a formal offer to the University of London to equip and endow a department of psychical research and to loan the equipment of the National Laboratory and its library. The University of London Board of Studies in Psychology responded positively to this proposal. In 1934, the National Laboratory of Psychical Research, which held Harry's Price's collection, was reconstituted as the University of London Council for Psychical Investigation, with C.E.M. Joad as chairman and with Harry Price as honorary secretary and editor, although it is not an official body of the university. In the meantime, in 1927, Price joined the Ghost Club, of which he remained a member until it temporarily closed in 1936. In 1927, Price claimed that he had come into possession of Joanne Southcott's box and arranged to have it opened in the presence of one reluctant prelate, the Bishop of Grotham. It was found to contain only a few oddments and unimportant papers, among them a lottery ticket and a horse pistol. He claims to have had the true box disputed by historians and by followers of Southcott. Price exposed Frederick Tansley Munnings, who claimed to produce the independent spirit voices of Julius Caesar, Dan Leno, Harley Harvey Crypton, and King Harry VIII. Price invented and used a piece of apparatus known as a voice control recorder and proved that all the voices were those of Munnings. In 1928, Munnings admitted fraud and sold his confessions to the Sunday newspaper. Price was also friends with other debunkers of fraudulent mediums, including Harry Houdini and the journalist Ernest Palmer. In 1933, Frank Decker was investigated by Price in the National Laboratory of Psychical Research under strict scientific controls that Price contrived. Decker failed to produce any phenomenon at all. Price's psychical research continued with investigations into Karachi's Indian rope trick and the firewalking abilities of Kuda Books in 1935. 
He was also involved in the formation of the National Film Library, British Film Institute, becoming its first chairman until 1941, and was a founding member of the Shakespeare Film Society. In 1936, Price broadcast from a supposedly haunted manor house in Meofam, Kent, for the BBC and published The Confessions of a Ghost Hunter and The Haunting of Cashin's Gap. This year also saw the transfer of Price's library on permanent loan to the University of London, followed shortly by the laboratory and investigative equipment in 1937, he conducted experiments in fire walking and the Advin Hussein of Kershalton in Alexandria Palace, and also rented Borley Rectory for one year. The following year, Price reestablished the Ghost Club with himself as chairman, modernizing it and changing it from a spiritualist association to a group of more or less open-minded skeptics that gathered to discuss paranormal topics. He was also the first to admit women to the club. In the same year, Price conducted experiments with Roman Bay, who was buried alive, and Kershalton. He also drafted a bill for the regulation of psychic practitioners. In 1939, he organized a national telepathic test in the periodical John O. London's Weekly. During the 1940s, Price concentrated on writing and the works The Most Haunted House in England, Poltergeist Over England, and The End of Borley Rectory were all published. <laughs> 